So this video contains a couple different things. Um, I have some stuff in there about the painted butterfly with my caterpillars. Um, my dad had made me a tree for the caterpillars to climb up onto um, to make their chrysalises or like when the Luna moths mat hatch um, they can crawl up the tree and have their wings dry. Um, I'm gonna show you some of my milkweed that's coming up. I spotted that the other day as I was out here in my garden. So I thought I'd show you guys that as well. So I had my dad make me a tree to put in my big butterfly cage here for the caterpillars to make their chrysalis on. And then of course for the Luna moths, when they hatch, they can climb up on the tree to dry their wings. I thought it looks pretty good. Okay, so with the caterpillars that I had gotten, the painted lady ones, they are all in chrysalises now. Four of them are hanging from the lid. One of them is on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is try to carefully take the lid off and I'm gonna sit it in sideways on here. I am gonna put it in my um, butterfly cage with all my Lunas and wait for them to hatch. Probably between seven and 10 days. The last one made its chrysalis last night. So maybe we can take a closer look at them once I get them up. Here's what they look like. Four of them right there. They are different from the monarch chrysalises and the swallowtails. So I think we can just set it just like that. And then somehow I'm going to, I'm gonna get the other one from in here. All right guys, so the chrysalis is too small. I just can't hang it. So I just laid it right there with my Lunas. And I'm gonna try to remember to come out every day and just move it, flip it around a little bit so it doesn't get flat or anything on one side. All right, so this is one of my gardens where I have, that is going to be a butterfly bush there, um, which, it is starting to get new growth on it. Um, and as I was out here, I saw some right here of the milkweed. And there's some tiny ones there. Yes, you're gonna see some bunny turds because we've been putting the hay out here over the winter time. And there's some more milkweed coming up there. So that's a good sign that spring's coming, that the milkweed's coming up. So back in my corner garden here is where I planted the milkweed seeds um, that were different. There's the showy, the butterfly, the blood flower, and then the common. And I did not see hardly any at all. The only one I saw back here was the common, which is what like the one I have out front. I don't know if these other ones... Um, take longer to sprout but I did not see any at all here and then in the back there that's the showy so the only one I saw was over here the common milkweed there 
And this is my bee bomb from last year. I think I might have to buy another one because the bunnies, I think, were eating on it and it looks dead. So I'm going to have to buy a couple more of those for the butterflies too. They like the, the bee balm. So as I was outside getting my garden stuff out and everything, I forgot about my butterfly houses. I do have two of them in the ground. There's one and then in the back is another one. But my dad also made me two butterfly houses for Christmas that I'm going to paint. And then I think I'm going to put them up on taller... Um, stilts or for the hut for for them to be higher for the butterflies let me turn you around and i'll show you those so here are the two butterfly houses and i'm gonna paint those and then like i said i'll put them up higher for the butterflies they are made a little different as you can see and then they do have a screw on the bottom that i can clean them out my other two do not, so I don't ever clean them out, but these two, I will be able to do that. 